Let's bring in Dr. Anthony Harper into this conversation. Dr. Mm -hmm. Harper is the editor and correspondent for Intermountain Christian News. Anthony, look, we know that Netanyahu is in a tricky position unless Lieberman changes his mind here. Mike and I have discussed the likely scenario, and that is that Netanyahu fails to form a coalition government. The mandate goes to Gantz, and then Gantz goes to Likud and says, look, to save the country from a third election, you have to get rid of Netanyahu. Do you see Likud succumbing to that kind of pressure? Uh, well, for, from an evangelical Christian perspective, uh, I don't see him doing that. There's a real concern that I've been able to address is about the secularization of, of government. You know, Netanyahu has, you know, has ruffled some few feathers about his firing of Ali at Shaked, uh, Justice Minister, and open, upon the first openly gay man in this issue. The issue for a lot of evangelical well, Christians and Orthodox Jews. Okay. She was the Justice Minister. She, she was the Justice Correct. Minister, but yeah. the new person is uh, uh, Omar. I mean, not, not Omar, but we think of the... All right, so you're, a, a, saying, a you're saying your concern from your perspective is this push for a more secular Israel? You the, well, so the, the concern for the evangelical Christians is secularization of government, and they see, they see the challenge for Prime Minister Netanyahu and his, his election roles in trying to get the religious right, his coalition, I think they're concerned about uh, this issue along with some other issues. We, we were just talking a little bit ago about Lieberman and his, his conflict with the religious right and the desire to get them and then their influence out of the government. Uh, that's a concern for a lot of evangelical Christians. I right. Uh, Mike, we have had President Rivlin come in and say, Gantz Netanyahu, you guys need to work this out. He's put forward a number of compromises or seemingly workable solutions, telling Gantz that the role of Deputy Prime Minister will be elevated, will have more clout, saying that if Netanyahu is embroiled in these corruption charges, if that hearing turns into something, that he'll step aside and then Gantz will take a bigger role. Why is Gantz being so adamant about not compromising? His whole reason for existing in Israeli politics is to say goodbye to Benjamin Netanyahu. This is the reason he stepped into the stage. This is the reason he ran twice now. This is the reason, and this is the reason that the voters voted for him. There are no huge policy differences that anybody can really tell between Blue and White and Likud. There, there really isn't in the end. Uh, there's a few leftist elements within the Blue and White Party, but for that matter, there are several centrist elements within Likud as well. So when you're talking about policy, it doesn't doesn't really make a huge difference. When you're talking about the, the personalities, that's where the voters turn to Gantz. If he now goes back on his word and says, yeah, Netanyahu can continue, the backlash will be irreparable. Well, he said that he refuses to sit with a prime minister that faces these corruption charges. Now, we know that Netanyahu wanted to have his pre-indictment hearing televised, but that was turned down. Why? The attorney general thinks that uh, he's trying to make basically a mockery, a circus of the proceedings and use them for his own public relations, basically playing things in the court of public opinion rather than playing things in the court of, of law. He'll have an opportunity or his lawyers will have the opportunity to present uh, his case for why he should not be indicted. But the attorney general has already been frustrated with Netanyahu's legal team, which has seen a lot of turnover. They haven't done what was really required of them in submitting documents and evidence that will be brought forth in the uh, in the hearing. And so the attorney general not only said no, but said, yeah, heck no, there's yeah. no way we're going to televise this thing. All right. Well, a lot of people wanted to see it for transparency reasons. Thank you so much, Mike Wagenheim, Dr. Harper. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.